Uh, I'm Abdi Mehfar from Iran. I was one of the PhD fellows of, of the University of Twente and IHE Delft Institute for Water Education. And I graduated last week. I decided to study and have a PhD degree in, in the Netherlands especially. I found IHE and the University of Twente a good place to, you know, to pursue my education uh, in the fields of coastal engineering. And well, I did my master also in coastal engineering. So one of the reasons that really motivated me to do a PhD was that I, I've seen a lot of, you know, uncertainties in terms of the, uh, the environmental aspects and, you know, climate change impacts in the environment. So, and I really wanted to, to you know, more, know more about uh, these kind of issues that, well, have not been really studied in the, in the past. So it was just a nice idea from my supervisor if we can have a kind of different, you know, uh, study on something that has not been really studied. It was a few years ago that I found IHE as one of the credible institutes for water education in the world. And in fact, it is the largest educational center for water education. So when I came to the Netherlands, well, I found that, you know, Netherlands is a good platform for uh, studying in, in coastal engineering. I did my master in IHE and then I decided to also to do my PhD in IHE and uh, in the same time in the University of Twente. <coughs> my PhD is basically about quantifying climate change driven environmental losses in the coastal area. And for that uh, I developed a framework to, uh, to quantify the environmental damages due to climate change impacts in the coastal areas of developing countries. So it's basically, the story was that first I developed a framework which is grounded on three different elements. One, valuation studies, economic valuation of coastal ecosystems, and then also a participatory approach and a novel scenario-based approach in terms of how we can quantify or estimate the climate change impacts and particularly relative sea level rise induced inundation and erosion in coastal areas of developing countries. So, and then I try to quantify the monetary damages for the a long uh, time span for next hundred years of the wetlands ecosystem services and how they can be affected by uh, inundation and erosion due to relative sea level rise and applied my framework in three different case studies of uh, developing countries, Indonesia, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka, were the three selected countries that I worked on, and I applied my framework to quantify damages to the coastal environment due to sea level rise. I really enjoyed over the last four years when I was in academia and in the universities, working with different colleagues, working with some of the students in master degree. And it was a very nice opportunity for me. And that actually motivated me to still, you know, be in academia and doing research and, you know, further expand my, um, my actually opportunities if I can work in the same environment and working with different people, collaborating on different research projects, and also, you know, raising, increasing the chances to to know more about what I, what I have done in my field of interest, which is basically climate change impact assessments in coastal areas. So that is my plan to do research and be in academia. Yeah. There are always advices and suggestions for people who really are willing to start PhD position. It, it's very important if you know what you want to study to know how you are going to start this five years uh, journey in your life and interest in the topic is the most important thing that I would say and I believe that if people are who are willing to do a PhD if they have interest on the topic and they have enough you know you know motivation to start these four years project or if it is a project or if it's just an idea they just uh, write you know their proposals they just develop their ideas and start looking for what they want to get and that is the main thing in doing a PhD just to keep going and have the hope to actually achieve what they want to get and then 
that really encourage uh, people also to even further continue and stay in the academia for further research, for developing their knowledge and to stay be updated about the latest you know, issues in their area of interest and their research.